Hello everyone, it's Robin here, and today I'm pretty excited because I get to share in a pin tag. Oh my gosh, I love tags in general because it's the opportunity for me to share a little bit about myself, but also when I get to watch other people's tags, I get to learn a little bit more about them. Well, this is a pin tag, so it's giving me the opportunity to share part of my pin collection, which I love that too, because you know how much I love the pins. Well, I was tagged in this great tag by Alicia from Cinderella Loves Disney, and before I go any further, if you haven't visited her channel, you might want to stop by and check it out. If you love Cinderella, Cinderella Loves Disney is your girl. She has got a crazy, fabulous Cinderella collection that you're not going to want to miss out. She does other videos about um, how she obtains some of her pins, and she has interesting ways to do that too. So you'll want to check her out. Well, Cinderella Loves Disney got together with another one of my friends, Nina from Wrestling with Disney, and they created this great tag. Now, if you haven't visited Nina's channel, you might want to check her out too because she is a ton of fun. And I'll link both of their channels down below for you. Well, Cinderella Love Disney tagged me in this tag they created and it's 19 pins for 2019. Oh my gosh, sounds like so much fun. Can we get through 19 pins quickly? I don't know, but we're going to find out, right? Well, we have to start with New Year's Eve because the first pin is a pin with a date on it. And what I'm going to share with you is a pin that I recently opened with my husband, Rod. You may have seen our New Year's Eve video. We unboxed 2018 and 2019 pins. And I'm gonna share the 2019 pin that I got. And it's of Sorcerer Mickey. Look at how awesome Sorcerer Mickey is holding up that 2019. Oh my gosh, he is just fabulous, isn't he? Now, Rod and I opened the 2018-2019 boxes on New Year's Eve, like I said, and I was pretty excited. I was holding on to the pins for quite a while because it was kind of a, a transition. The 2018 pin was going to denote who, what my 2018 was when I started my YouTube channel, and 2019 was who I was going to, you know, aspire to. So Sorcerer Mickey is kind of my mascot for this year, so I'm pretty excited to have this pin. The next question is, when did you start pin collecting? Well. I started pin collecting fairly recently, at least in terms of maybe a lot of you out there. I started in May of 2018, so just May of last year. So I've been pin collecting about eight months now, but as you can see, it can rapidly grow. Now I'm gonna transition that within the next question, which is share how you got into pin collecting and what you like about it. Well, I got into pin collecting right around the same time when I was thinking about starting a YouTube channel, and I knew I wanted it to be about Disney, but you know, I don't live anywhere near the parks. I live in Illinois, so you know, doing a, 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 a vlogging in the parks wasn't really realistic for me to do, although you know, I would have loved to do that, but no, not realistic. But around the same time, I started seeing videos of people um, opening mystery pins. I saw people, videos of people doing pin trading, and I started just looking at these pins, and I started thinking, those are really kind of cool, and I like them. So I started collecting pins around May to see, you know, what I thought about them. And, and you know, as you know, I started my YouTube channel in August. So it took a few months for me to formulate what I wanted to do, but that's how I got into it. Now, what I love about pin collecting, um, I'll tell you, there's four things that I absolutely love about it. Number one, I absolutely love the art involved in pin collecting and just in these pins in general. Some of them, well, all of them have their own real purpose, but some of them are really beautiful and quite stunning. And I just really appreciate the effort involved into making the pins that the way they are. They really are pieces of art. You know, some people collect uh, prints and uh, paintings and whatnot, and to me, these pens are just as lucrative. They're, they're, they're just as viable as a piece of art. They are absolutely beautiful. Um, I also love the memories that they invoke. Um, I pick up a pen that, and you'll probably see that through this tag for sure, but I pick up a pen of a certain attraction and it just brings me back either to my childhood, my children's childhood, last year, yesterday. It just brings me back to all different time periods the memories that I've had. And you know, Disney is such an awesome place to have memories for sure, right? You know, you've got family and happiness and magic and all of that. So I love the memories that they invoke. I also love 
the size of them. So when we left um, about three years ago, we left Southern California and moved out here to the Midwest. We down, talk about downsizing. We downsized literally everything. And if I had any huge collections, you know, they really didn't get to come. So pins are a nice size. They're manageable. But, you know, I know some of you who may have multiple boards might not think so. But, you know, they really are quite manageable in terms of collections. So I really like the size of them. And the fourth thing I absolutely love about pin collecting is the ability to make connections with other people. I have met so many people through pin trading and sharing collections that it's just amazing to me, the people that I've met. And I find Disney pin collectors to be really nice and awesome people. I mean, don't you, don't you agree? I mean, seriously, they are, right? But uh, the friendships that I've made, just invaluable. So yeah, those are the four main reasons I love pin collecting. Speaking of making connections, the next item is share your newest pin. Well, my newest pin does come from one of those connections that I've made. So back on New Year's Day, I was contacted by Hope from the Disney Sisters, and she was hanging out in Disney Springs looking at the new 2019 merchandise and asked me if there was anything that I wanted her to pick up for me. Well, that was very nice of her. And what I do know is they had just released for New Year's Eve the Cinderella pin for the Magic Kingdom. And she was at Disney Springs and so I mentioned to her, you know, if they have that pin, I would love it. I honestly didn't think they would have it at Disney Springs, but Hope, amazing girl that she is, picked it up for me and now I have it. The 2019 Happy New Year pin that opens up to Cinderella and Prince Charming. First of all, just look at how awesome this pin is in the iconic Cinderella blue colors, but look, there's the clock and there's a hinge element and you can see through it and you open it up and there's Cinderella and Prince Charming and it says 2019, Happy New Year. This is a limited edition pin of 2000 and I really honestly did not think I was gonna get my hands on any of these pins and all of a sudden, one of your connections just rings you up. I don't know if Hope understands how excited I was that, that she, she, she was able to get this for me, but I love this pen and I'm happy to add this to my collection. I am starting a Cinderella collection and this pen is definitely gonna be the essential part of it for sure. Now the next pen is share a pen that has the most characters on it. And mine happens to come from Shanghai Disneyland. Oh my gosh, this pen is large and sparkly and look at all the glitter down in here isn't that amazing but there's nine characters so you have mickey and minnie and then you have chip and dale and you have pluto and goofy and donald and daisy and duffy bear and it is a layered pen too you can see the dual layers there super awesome pen with a lot of fun characters right so the next pen is one that features the most obscure character or film well, I have the perfect pin, Kongaloosh. Oh my gosh. I love my Adventurers Club hidden Mickey pin. Look at the Colonel here, ready to explore and go on adventures. Isn't he awesome? See, there's his hidden Mickey right here. Before there was downtown Disney Springs, <laughs> years ago, there was Pleasure Island, and Pleasure Island had all these awesome nightclubs on it. Now during the day, I believe anybody any age could go into them, but I know at night they turn into the nightclubs and they tried to keep it over 21 for sure. Um, but there were a ton of uh, nightclubs there and they ranged about all the different decades. So I know they had like a beach party one and like an 80s and 90s one. Um, I know there was a comedy club there too and there was the adventurers club oh my gosh i loved the adventurers club you would go in there and if you like improv and theming that built that nightclub was all that there were different rooms you could be in and at different times there would be different little shows that would happen either through animatronics on the wall or the cast members walking through um, they were all explorers and we were explorers too when we came in um, I just, I loved it so much. I would just, I remember just going and just, just 
hanging out all the time going there. Now they had, um, oh, they have a special greeting, a special handshake, like a secret handshake for the club. I'm going to put this in the other hand, see if I can remember it. Now you take your, you take your right hand. Now do this with me and I can't put it, you put it above your belly button. So I'm going to go higher so you can see it, but you put it like directly above your belly button and you wave it like a fish. So you go like this, drink, Congaloosh. Okay. Do it with me again. Ready? Congaloosh. Congaloosh. Oh my gosh. So much fun. Good times. Good times. Um, they dismantled it. Like why did they take all the good things away? I don't know. I loved the Adventurous Club so much. But I did hear, I mean, they took it apart probably about 10 years ago. This was a club that I used to go to when we go to Disney World in the 90s. So it was a lot of fun. So, you know, the 90s were fun, people. The 90s were fun. But uh, they dismantled it maybe, what, 10 years ago, I think. And I did hear, though, that a lot of the artifacts went to uh, Hong Kong and are now at Mystic Manor. So that kind of makes me want to go to Mystic Manor to revisit some of my old friends. But this is my uh, most obscure reference of a pin but it has such great, great memories. Love it. Kungaloosh! So the next pin will represent Valentine's Day and who I want to be my Valentine. Well, of course I want it to be my husband, Rod, and what better form than as Minnie and Mickey Mouse. My favorite Disney couple. Not only is this pin of my favorite Disney couple, but look, Minnie Mouse has her daisy hat, which is my favorite form of Minnie Mouse. The blue in this pin is beautiful. There's glitter elements and little hearts. Look at the little hidden hearts going on in there. Oh, there's a hidden Mickey too. Oh my gosh, so awesome. But look at that. It's got two little, that's not a hinge, but you get what I'm saying, right? It moves around. Really speaks highly of my husband and myself because he is my Valentine and uh, he is my Mickey to my Minnie. You know, it's not easy being green and this next pen represents, I guess it would be St. Patrick's Day or a green pen. Of course, is my Mike Wazowski Hong Kong Disneyland lollipop pen because I'm telling you, I love those pens. I love getting one of those tins from Hong Kong and opening the lollipop pens and who wouldn't love Mike Wazowski as a lollipop? Look at him. He doesn't look like though it's not easy being green. He looks like he's uh, sporting that green really well, doesn't he? But oh, these pens are amazing. Look at the sparkle in these pens. I'm a huge Mike Wazowski fan anyway. I love Mike and Sully. And um, Pixar in general I love too, but I love Mike and Sully. But this pen's amazing. So the next one is so difficult because it's share your favorite pin. How do you choose amongst them all? Oh my gosh. Well, I was having a difficult time with this, but I really kept coming back to. Now I had recently done a pin tag and I was trying to pull different pins up, but I honestly, I know I just shared this pin, but I couldn't help sharing it again because it really is right now my favorite pin. And that is the Tropical Serenade Tiki Bird WDI pin, limited edition of 300 on the poster board. I mean, how many more things can I say about this? It is amazing. So you can see that it's the attraction poster for the Tiki Room and here's the Tiki guy there and there's the birds there. But what I love about this is when, when you, let me pull it off here, is you take the pin off that's just part of the poster. Look at that. So there's the poster and the pin really is that part. So look at all these awesome birds and look how delicate this is. I just love this so much. You know, at any given time, you know, I think you, any pin collector might say this, you can ask them what their favorite pin is and they might pull up something different right now. And I don't know, probably for a long time coming, this is going to be pulled up for me. And, uh, I just love this pin. Speaking of Adventureland, the next pin is one that shows off nature. And I have that with the Jungle Cruise pin. Look at how awesome this pin is. Now this is an open edition pin, so it's a rack pin. And um, it is one of the first pins that I added to my collection, actually. I love the Jungle Cruise. It is my favorite ride. Um, I love everything in Adventureland. and. Um, if I could just live in Adventureland, I'd be happy. I probably could go to Disney and just hang out in Adventureland and 
there'd be me that'd be a day for me the jungle cruise boats are crazy fun and i love that mickey and goofy are in this but my favorite part is this uh hippo because i love that part of the river now i also love the elephant part too but i just love that you're exploring and just traveling and it's just amazing and there is no other pin that shows off nature better than this i love the jungle cruise look at that fun hippo <laughs> so the next pin is one that represents summer to me i pulled another open edition pin that's very similar to the last pin and that's my photo bomb pin this pin uh shows look at mickey and donald are are having their picture taken in front of space mountain and you know, Goofy's doing his photo bomb behind him, but it just reminds me of all the photography that we've done in the parks and all the selfies that we do as a family. And just look how much fun everybody's having. This pin just really has all those fun, carefree qualities that a good summertime feel would have. Oh my gosh, this pin's so much fun. The next pin is to share my favorite patriotic pin. I have the perfect pin, Sam the Eagle. He is wearing an Uncle Sam hat. So this pin comes from the Kingdom of Cute Mystery Box Collection, Series 2. And I really love this pin. I love bird pins anyway, but look at him. I love his beak. Sam the Eagle is really cute. Now, he's not Sam the Eagle from the Muppets, although I know they look the same because they're both eagles. But um, he was from an attraction at Disneyland called America Sings. And Sam the Eagle was the MC for the show. Ooh, when the spooks come out, what's my favorite Halloween pen? Oh my gosh. So Rod and I went to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party last year and had so much fun. And while we were there, we opened a box of the Not So Scary Halloween party mystery pens, the limited release pens, and pulled Oogie Boogie. So these pins were limited release specifically for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party in 2018. And um, could, we couldn't believe it when we pulled Oogie Boogie because that was just so perfect because it was kind of a Jack and Sally night for us for sure. So we opened these pins there, which was a lot of fun. Um, but when we came back home, I traded for the Hitchhiking Ghost. You can see it's the same shape. It's in a skull because it's for Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party 2018. You can see the castle in the background and it's the hitchhiking ghost whom I love. So this is Ezra. He's the tall one. Gus is the prisoner and my favorite hitchhiking ghost is the one who carries the carpet bag and it's Phineas right here. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. So I started collecting hitchhiking ghosts uh, last Halloween. So I just wanted to include this because really, I love both these pins for the same and different reasons. Speaking of the hitchhiking ghosts, the next pin is to share one of my favorite attraction pins. It's of the Haunted Mansion, and I think it's awesome because it is a two-sided pin. So right off the bat, having a Haunted Mansion pin I think is pretty cool to begin with because it's the Haunted Mansion and there's Donald on it. And look, there's the portrait right there. But see, you can see a telltale sign there. Who's laughing at Donald? Oh my gosh, the back of the pin, see there's the pin post, is Goofy and Mickey. And look at the wall. Oh my gosh, this pin is amazing. Look at this. That's how thick it is. It's layered. So he's layered out, they're layered out and the center is two-sided. So this is definitely my favorite pin of an attraction. Look at that. Love this pin. Wonder if they made any more. Might have to check into that. Well, it's time to give thanks. And the next pin is to share a Thanksgiving pin or one that represents that to me. This Chippendale popcorn pin from Hong Kong Disneyland very much represents the feeling of Thanksgiving. First of all, check out how awesome this pin is. So we have Chip over here, Dale over here, they're popping up some popcorn and it's a Hong Kong Disneyland pin, which shows you you're gonna have some sparkle and the pin's just gonna be cool. Now, not only do the colors signify kind of Thanksgiving because they're in those browns that you tend to get in, in that time of the year, but Chip and Dale are very Thanksgiving type characters. Um, they're very polite. 
no, after you, after you, no, after you. I've met a lot of friends through uh, my YouTube channel here, a lot of other collectors, a lot of other Disney YouTubers, and we will message each other back and forth. And it's so funny because sometimes you just, you, it's like the message is never gonna end because it's like, well, thank you. No, thank you. No, really, thank you. So I just think it's fun because we're all so polite and we're very chip and dealing it. And really that's what Thanksgiving's all about. We're just being nice to each other and thanking each other and being appreciative of each other. And yeah, that's a Chip and Dale thing for sure. So next is to share my favorite princess pin or a pin with my favorite character on it. And I will, I will go for the princess pin. I don't have a lot of princess pins. Now I also just showed you the most awesome princess pin when I showed you my Cinderella New Year's Eve pin. So, um, but I can't use that again now, can I? But remember that's there, okay? So yeah, there's my favorite princess pin. But um, I do have a pin and it might be a little more quirky than you think. And it's of Belle, so I know you're getting that picture in your head, right, of Belle. Are you a gold dress Belle or a blue dress Belle? Well, I'm a Ralph Breaks the Internet Belle because I love Belle in this form, she is awesome so this pin comes from the ralph breaks the internet box set that was released right around the time the movie came out and um there's vanellope there and look at Belle in her modern outfit because see vanellope modernized all these princesses it says hi tea for two she's sitting on a stack of books which i love and she they're having tea which i love and Belle's pouring tea from mrs potts into a chip cup for vanellope and I just adore this pen. I think this is a great modernization of Belle and I just love her modern day form. She's awesome. Well, we just celebrated Christmas and so the next pin is to share your favorite Christmas pin. Well, I got some amazing Christmas pins over Christmas, but my favorite pen was this Tiki Bird from the Sounds of the Season collection. And here we have Fritz here ready to sing his holiday tunes for Sounds of the Season. And look, you can see through that, so there's a stained glass element to this pen. This pen is limited edition to 3000, which is really nice, but I love the stained glass, look at that. Such a beautiful, beautiful pen with an awesome, awesome bird. I love, love, love the Tiki Room, so I absolutely adore this pen. So next is to share a pen that represents your favorite memory at a Disney Parks. Oh my gosh, so many memories to be had at Disney parks, right? But this one in particular speaks volumes to me. And it's Mickey and Minnie, and it's a spinner. They're holding hands and spinning. Look at how cool this pin is with this moving element. I just love pins with moving element. Now, it's an open edition pin, but I do love that Minnie and Mickey are holding hands and spinning because this is something Rod and I do in all the parks. Rod will hold the camera and we'll hang on to each other and we'll spin with the camera. So it shows us spinning around. So when we saw this pin, it's like, absolutely, we had to have this pin because this is really us in the parks in a nutshell. <laughs> So much fun and dizzying too. And last but certainly not least is to share a pin that represents you. Oh my gosh, what a fun one, right? And I chose, of course, the Cheshire Cat. Now you didn't think you were gonna get out of here without an Alice in Wonderland pin, right? There's no way I couldn't include one. But I love this Cheshire Cat pin. And when I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, definitely, that's me. So this Cheshire Cat is from a series called Goofing Around. And look at him, he's balancing teapots and teacups and everything. And you know, that is me, I feel like that. Don't, don't all of us feel that way at certain times? But I love that he's balancing all these and look at the grin he has. He's having so much fun doing it and that's exactly how I feel these days. I'm balancing so many things and juggling so many things yet I'm having the time of my life doing it. Now this pin also is just very beautiful. The colors of the Cheshire Cat in the different pinks with the kind of purple tones. But I love the gold. I love that they put gold on this pin instead of silver because it just makes it look so cool to me. I'm just a little bit mad, I tell you, just a little bit mad. <laughs> Isn't everybody though? So I had a lot of fun with this pin tag and I wanna thank Alicia from Cinderella Loves Disney and Nina from Wrestling With Disney for creating it. I, I really did enjoy this. So now it's time to tag some people. So are you ready? So the first person I'm going to tag 
are Hope and Abby from the Disney Sisters. Now they live in the Orlando area so they get to go to the park. So on their channel you can see some of their uh, park trips. You can also see some hauls and they had a fun vlogmas this year too. So I really want to see what they can do with this pin tag. So Hope and Abby you are tagged. The next person that I want to tag is also somebody else that I have been watching a lot and that's Corey Fiasco. Now, Corey just recently moved to the Orlando area and you know he has a lot of similar pin collections that I do. He does a lot of Alice in Wonderland. I'm just like go nuts looking at his Alice in Wonderland pins. But uh, since he's moved down to the Orlando area, he's also bringing in more of that local atmosphere that we all wish we could have, you know, like Epcot and Magic Kingdom and stuff, right? <laughs> anyway, I would love to see um, his 19 pins for 2019. So Corey, you are tagged. And another person that I wanna tag is Melissa from Pixie Dust and Peaches. I absolutely love Melissa's channel. She just is so calming and sweet and she does a lot of hauls and she's got a lot of trip vlogs up and I know Melissa, you have pins and I wanna see them. So Melissa, you are tagged. And you know, I think I might just tag one more. And that is, if any of you would like to do this tag, I'm gonna leave all the information down below for you to do it. I would love to see it because it is a fun way to, again, put your collection together and to share it. So you are tagged. And when you do this video, please come back and let me know because I really want to come back and watch it. Thank you all for stopping by. I really enjoyed sharing my pin collection with you. Now, if you haven't had a chance to do so yet, please hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of my Disney family. And while you're at it, you might want to consider hitting that bell notification because you don't want to miss on it. any of the Disney pin fun. Now, until next time, I hope you're having a magical day. Thank you. Bye-bye.